It was an image I'd first seen as a boy. A moment from a vanished time that held a message for the future. It had everything to do with why I was in Vietnam. When I took the photograph from my notebook and showed it to Da Nang, I did so in silence. Her slender hands reached to touch the hands of the woman. She told us she had never seen a picture of her grandmother as a young woman, though she had often tried to imagine what kind of young woman she might have been. It seemed a miracle that the picture she was holding had been taken by my father and that I was here all these years later. My grandmother was an interpreter and guide who started an agency after the war. My mom got a pension, but no work was available, so she threw me to the nuns. At that time, my name was Koi, which means orphan, but I didn't want to be Koi, so I called myself the name of my father's hometown, Da Nang. I showed Nguyen Fo Chao the picture that my father had taken 45 years earlier. Why did you never tell me about him? Da Nang asked. Because I don't like to talk about myself in the past. Makes me sad, the old woman said. We felt we didn't deserve family or happiness when so many had died. I asked if I could take a photograph. Please no, said Nguyen Fo Chao. I want him to remember me on the motorcycle when I was free and young.